Hey guys, so uh, this is the EHR Go data entry exercise. Um, so again, click out of Canvas into the EHR Go assignment. Oh, let me get over here into the student view. And we do the one, two, three. So overview and resources, you're going to download the data entry activity. And um, this time we, I don't know what is going on with this weird thing, why it's like stopping right here. Um, but we have the data entry uh, skills activity here. And so your learning objectives are listed up top. The instructions are here. We're going to launch the chart of Marisol in just a second uh, to complete this activity. Now this time we're going to actually do the work in the chart and then have to download the work in step three so you won't be doing anything on this um, Word document this time for this exercise. So you have the glossary, uh, a diagnosis code is the code that's described to uh, is the code that's used to describe the principal diagnosis and any additional conditions that coexisted at the time the patient was admitted or conditions that developed subsequently which affected the treatment received by the patient. Uh, then you have ICD-10, which is the current uh, data set for diagnosis codes or diagnostic codes. Um, it is the International Statistical Classification of Diseases and Related Health Problems. That's where the ICD, -T ICD comes from, and then it is the 10th edition. Um, uh, so um, 2015, we went to the 10th edition. Um, before that, we were on the 9th edition for quite some time. Problem, vital signs, um, and so here's the activity. We're going to launch her chart. And then basically, you do this as you've done all the others. You follow the directions. We uh, click on the Alerts tab to begin with. And um, we're going to click the New button down here. I know it's very um, difficult to see down here because it's the very, very bottom of my screen, but we're going to click on the plus sign on the New button in the bottom right corner, and we're going to enter a um, an allergy to latex. So the type of alert is... Um, adverse reaction or allergy, which was already there. It's an active one, and so we are going to type in latex allergy. For signs and symptoms, we are going to, you can scroll down and type hives, or you can just type in H, uh, the first couple letters, and hives will populate, and then you can select that. And so uh, we will add there. We're going to click Save. And so then we have our first alert there. Now, if you needed to provide information for the patient about her latex allergies, you could uh, look up information for the patient education by clicking this Medline Plus. Now, we don't need to do that right now, but that's what this is. So. Um, we need to enter another active allergy to codeine, so you um, can add another one to um, that, so you know how to do that now. Under the Problems tab, we'll go through and do one of those together. Um, let me get out of here. So for alerts, um, you would close and then add another one for the uh, codeine. Uh, bradycardia and signs and symptoms and all that stuff right there. So let me get out of there. We're going to go over to the Problems tab. And under the Problems tab, we're going to click New down at the bottom again. And we're going to enter the problem of portal hypertension using its ICD-10 code. And so over here, we're going to click that. And... Hold on just a second. Portal hypertension. There we go. So K76.6 is the ICD-10 code for portal hypertension. It is active, um, and the immediacy is chronic. 
The date of onset is 2-5-2016. It's probably easier just to change this date. Oh, it doesn't let me type it, so we have to click back. A long time, three years ago. Woo! 2-5-2016. And uh, the provider is Manuel Bachman. Where's he at? There he is. And there's no information listed for priority. So we go down here, save that, close it, and there is her uh, first problem. And then you can add another problem by clicking the Add button again for cellulitis of left toe. That's a bummer. Cellulitis is a bummer. And your toe, every time you walk, ouch. Okay, so then you go over and you enter Vital Signs on the Vital Sign tab. You would click Add. Enter in all of those Vital Signs that are listed here. Save it. And then click out of that. For Orders, you would go and uh, click on orders. We'll enter one of those together. We'll click add. And um, we're going to enter an order, uh, an item order of activity is tolerated. And the category of care. Oh, where's care? There it is. Okay, and so the provider is Manuel Bachman again. The item is activity as tolerated. The details none needed. So schedule daily, one every day. Sure, we got that right. Schedule one once daily. Oops, nope, daily. So this should be daily. And the frequency frequency is once, schedule is daily, every day. And then the status is active. Took me a second to figure that out, sorry. And then the start uh, starts on today's date. So this is today's date, and it ends on a week from today's date. So let's do a week from today's date. Uh, no notes there. And oops, I always want to hit that blue button because it's bright. Um, and then we're going to save every one day. Oops, I forgot about that one. OK. So then we have her first order in there for her activity is tolerated, and then you would go in and add a second order for uh, her aspirin. Then you're going to go in and enter a note on the note tab for uh, the results of her Braden scale assessment. And so you can look for that. That's how you find that. So you would um, enter that. Make sure that you enter all of the information that's listed here. And then lastly, you're going to go and enter the labs down in the labs tab. And you'll do that by entering those here. All of the lab information and values that are listed here, you'll list uh, in the labs tab. Again, save and then close. So then once you're done, you're going to close your session out. Go over to tab three, download your work and then you'll upload that PDF to Canvas. And that's it. If you have questions, uh, you can message me on Canvas or email me and let me know.